So pretty much covered the entire iTunes store. Just a couple more things I wanted to mention. Um, some places I didn't go into is iPod Games, which is pretty self-explanatory. These are games you can download for your iPod. And we just click on one. It's $4.99. You can preview it. So if you like games on your iPod, that's uh, something you can do. Another section that I didn't cover is the iTunes Latino, and this is just a Latin music section. It's in Spanish for the most part. Um, but one last thing, and I mentioned this before, but I never really showed you how it worked, is the, the search. And, I mean, you can browse in these different sections, movies, TV shows, music videos. Oh, that's one other place I didn't mention is music videos, actually. Um, very self-explanatory. You can browse in these places, but probably um, if you know what you're looking for, just go ahead and search it. Don't even worry about trying to find it. So if you, even if you don't know everything you're looking for, like maybe I'm looking for a TV show called Veronica Mars. So when I search, I'm going to get um, results in every category. You see I've got results from artists, results from albums, Results from TV seasons, and there's actually what I'm looking for. Results from iTunes Essentials, results from movies, audiobooks, and podcasts. So you can see that even though I didn't have necessarily have to go to the TV show to, to find this real quickly, it's just right there. And I can see maybe some other stuff I'm looking for, like a soundtrack. But this will take me straight to the TV section and exactly what I'm looking for. So just be mindful of that and using the search. If I go to TV shows and then search, you can see it's going to come up the exact same way. So that's what I mean. It's not even really necessary to, to go somewhere and then search there. So that is pretty much the iTunes store. And they've got a lot of great things on there. Um, one thing in conclusion I would say just to remember is that except for iTunes Plus, everything you're buying has DRM, digital rights management, on it, which puts certain restrictions on it. And movies and TV shows um, are only available in your iTunes and on your iPod after you buy them. But that, in a nutshell, is the iTunes Store.